Hey guys, uh, three o'clock, Thursday is at three, Coaching for the Soul has begun. Um, if you're watching this live, hello, please announce yourself when you get into the room. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, give me a comment, hello Bill, whatever. When you do that, YouTube will actually pick it up with the algorithms and send it around the world so other people can watch Coaching for the Soul that don't know it's there. What do you think about that? And this is a 99% clairvoyant reading. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Shannon. Yeah. Energy is crazy today. Hey, Carson. What's going on with you? Today's energy is off the chain. Off the chain. Yes, yes, yes. Lots to talk about. Yep. Today is an energetic day. Energy is boom, 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 boom. Hey, Sheila. I've been boom, boom, booming since about 2 o'clock this morning, maybe 2.30. Woke me up out of sleep. Never went back to sleep. I think I got maybe four hours sleep last night. Hi, Amanda. So, yeah. So, we'll see who pops on. Yes, we will see who pops on here. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Kimberly, what's up? What's up, what's up? Yeah. Hey, Pat, how's it going? Hey, Kathy. Good job, Marcy. Happy birthday, Teresa Parker. Teresa's birthday was yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. So good. I'm glad, Marcy, you're taking some couple days for yourself. That's good. We all have to do that. We're going to talk about that, too. There's like a menu of stuff today. So we're going to have to... I'm trying to keep myself focused on four, three or four or five things. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So wait maybe a minute more or two and see who pops on. There's Haley. Hey, Haley. How's it going for you? On this summery July day, it is butaceous. I'll take it over anything else. That's what air conditioning's for. Yep. No, Amanda, you're fine. Haley, I'm good. I'm good. Living that higher dimensional lifestyle, right? <laughs> yes, I'm good. Chime, chime, chimes. Yep. Yes. Hello, Allison Strange. How's it in Louisiana today? It's got to be hot and stuffy, so I'm sure. Down there. Thank you, Marcy. I feel fantastic. Yeah, life is good. Life is very good. I know, thanks Spirit for air conditioning, right? I would be dead. I would be dead. Yep. It's been on almost all day. Yep, I went out this morning to the grocery store, blah, 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 blah. I came back about 10.30 and I'm like, it's too hot for me, too humid. Yep. And then I heard my father say, just like your mother, which is true. Hello, Katerina. How are you? Thanks for joining today. I just talked to Katerina for the first time before I did Coaching for the Soul today. So she's joining us. So I'm sure that she will enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be 114 where Teresa's at tomorrow. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not for me. Nope. Thank God I'm going to live on the Pacific Ocean. Because if I wasn't living on the Pacific Ocean, there's no way I was moving to Hawaii. I don't think, but there's air conditioning there too, right? Yes. Marcy applied for mortgage today. Good for you. Okay, I think we're gonna start. Um, boo, boo, boo. Yes, we are. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is taking care of ourselves. All right. Hang on. Bing. Oh, Katerina, you're back. You're very welcome. Um, okay, we're going to talk about Chiron, okay? It is a, not a dwarf planet, it's not a planet, it's kind of in between, it's not an asteroid, anything like that. It's the healing, it's the healing, the healing warrior, okay? Now, we're all going through this transformation, all going through this transformation, chimes. 
I know, Spirit. All going. He wants me to keep saying it. We're all going through this transformation. Okay. We all know that that transformation has to do with healing, right? So until I believe now, until I didn't write it down, unfortunately, but I believe it's December. Chiron, the heal, that that the, the heal warrior, the uh, spirit. I don't know. I can see it plain as day, but I can't say it. Is working through everybody's sign to clear the collective of emotional stuff, healing ourselves. What we have to do, we have to let it go. We have to be conscious and let it go. When something comes up, we understand it. I shouldn't say that, I know spirit. He says, you recognize it, it's here. Connected to here, right? It's connected to ego, right? It's gonna trigger you, okay? It's gonna trigger you here. And that's when you gotta go, okay, Spirit, what is that? Right? Talking out loud again, right? The whole talking out loud, the whole talking out loud thing. Hi, Janice. Um, and understanding that for the, and there's a lot of stuff too else is one. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, with Jupiter and Saturn, okay? Because it all works with us. These are planets that absolutely affect our everyday life. Chiron retrograde is getting everything worked up. It's getting everything worked up. Everything worked up. Everything worked up. It is retrograde every year, and it is there to make sure that as we go through our transformation, as we go through our stuff, and the stuff comes up, that we're recognizing it and not doing what most muggles do, right? We all know what muggles are, right? From Harry Potter. We either press it down into our gut, or we just kind of carry it around our heart. And then we're irritated, we're mean, we're, we're crazy, um, um, not nice, emotional, um, uh, furious at the drop of a hat. Everything that can pass, that, that ego can possibly throw at us, it throws at us, okay? Because it's trying to keep us back in third dimension. So when Chiron is retrograde, we have to be the ones who, pays, who pay attention, okay? So the clearing is coming. 2023 is coming, okay? 2024 is coming. 2025 is coming, all right? As I've said before, and, um, and I'll say again, by 2025, we will be in 5D. We got for the year, two and a half years, okay? We're two and a half years in to the transformation. So when Chiron goes retrograde, we need to make sure that we pay attention to our stuff. All right, all right? So that's number one. Number two is Saturn is in Aquarius, retrograde. Saturn is the planet of structure. Planet is, a, is the government. It is the planet of boundaries. It's the planet of everything that is in our lives. Okay, that is our routine. That is our that that is our our um, social structure. That is what we were brought up on for twelve thousand years. But now it's at the pinnacle. Okay, and it's an Aquarius because it's the age of Aquarius. So it's there for deconstruction. So don't be surprised if big things come out, that, that big things come out about what happened in 2016 to 2020 and after 2020 with the government, okay? With things that were done that we do not know about yet. Things that have, that, 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 um, that it's all going to come out in the next six to nine to 12 months, okay? Especially because, um, Saturn is in Aquarius for the next five and a, five and a half months until the 28th, 28th of October. So that is going to be something that is going to change the way that we look at things. Hey, Paula, um, it's going to be the way that we, that, that, that we think we're going to be astonished. We're going to be, how could that happen? Um, um, also lots and lots of clearing. Okay. Because Saturn is going to bust the hell out of it. All right. It is not anything to be afraid of. It is not anything to be in fear about. Everything's gonna be fine. There's nothing, there's not, there, I've heard people talk about, people on, um, on YouTube and things like that who are conspiracy theorists about, oh, it, the world's gonna break down. And no, it's not. No, it's not, no, it's not, it's not. Don't let anybody tell you that stuff because it's all lies, it's all bullshit. Sorry, it's all stuff, right? So don't believe that stuff because that's not true, all right? 
Um, make sure that you keep yourself in the place of, they're gonna take care of me, everything's gonna be fine. We don't have to worry about this, okay? And, and, and we don't. It's just making it known so that we can know it, all right? The next thing, Jupiter is in Aries. Hey, Carol, how are you? Okay, so Jupiter is in Aries. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It's about abundance. Aries is about the fight, right? It's about the drive. It's about, God dang it. So you got the Saturn working on the government and the structure in our lives because we have to break it down, right? For us to, to, us to rise in ascension, for us to grab our spiritual self and allow ourselves into ascension into fourth and fifth dimension, right? As we get better and better at, at talking to spirit and having conversations and receiving messages and taking care of ourselves and all the things that we have, eating better, spirit says, right? All those things are happening. Why? Because Saturn is in Aquarius and Jupiter is in Aries. And Chiron's there to make everybody cry because it's the emotional healer, right? It's trying to heal your emotions in the time that these planets are all retrograde. Jupiter's the largest, Saturn's the second largest. Okay, hey Becca. So understanding that those two planets are, are, are so immense and they, they pull us at different directions, right? Because Saturn's about strength and Jupiter's about expansion and money and getting everything that you want. And it's an Aries which will fight for you, yeah. And with Saturn and Aquarius, it's kind of like, yeah, okay. Do what you need to, go away, that's fine. And Chiron's there to make everybody emotional. Okay, but what it's going to, what it is bringing us is our tribe of transformation. Okay, we all will have, we've already have, hey, Polly D, um, our tribe of transformation, the people that we're able to have conversations with, the people that understand us. Okay, Coaching for the Soul is a prime example. Okay, Coaching for the Soul page is this close to being launched. I got it set up. Last week, I'm trying to make it private. I'm gonna put some, I need to put some things on th there. I wanna make it so that it's inviting. Um, and that's a place that we will go with conversation in a private group to ask questions, okay? And I should have that ready in a week. I'm working with somebody now to get it done in a week so I can launch that puppy so that I can put Coach for the Soul on there and, uh, and, and, and you guys can see your, um, you can see your comments, you can see the answers, you can do all those types of things. I'm not sure how to do it. I tried it last week and it didn't work, but that's gonna be our tribe of transformation, all right? Things are moving extremely fast, extremely fast, all right? Quantum Leap is in full swing and it will be until October, all right? So the days are gonna to continue to zoom by. We're going to um, wake up and go, what the hell happened to the week? It's gone already, okay? And that's because of the quantum leap, of the energy moving so quickly and so fast that we don't understand why, but we're not supposed to. Hi, Nancy. You caught it. I'm glad you can catch the first part. Good. It's, I, it's nice to see you. So understanding, right, that not only is these messages from before, because he wants to remind you, it's getting more intense. It's getting more intense as we go into the fall, okay? July, and that's because of the retrograde planets, all right? They need you to step up. They need you to understand that you're your own worst enemy, Spirit says, which is true, okay? Making sure that we don't allow our negative ego to control our destiny and where we're going, okay? Because once this is done, if we do our work, if we absolutely are talking out loud and we're asking for what we want, I would talk about that too, um, and we're getting what we want, and when we're not getting what we want, we wonder why, we ask why, and it's because we probably are trying to push the energy. I want it now, you're not gonna get it. We all know this, right? That as you have your conversations with your guides, as you have conversations with spirit, as you have conversations with your higher self, right? that you're able to receive the answers either intuitively, emotionally, or clairvoyantly. And there's other ways too. Even when your heart gets big, you go, oh my God, that's the answer. 
or they grab it and kind of give it a little squeeze, that's a no, right? Intuitively, it is, no, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I just have a feeling in my gut. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Or yes, I'm supposed to do that. That's what be cool, yes. Or they actually say, okay, yes, do it. Or no, it's not the time. Again, we understand it has to be right place, right time, right? We can't force anything. Hey, Laura, we can't force anything. And we have to understand that because negative ego, hey, Molly, negative ego will get in there, right? And tell you to fight, tell you to do this, tell you to do that. But all of a sudden you do it and you get there and the abundance isn't there. What you were promised wasn't there. Everything that it told you wasn't there because we have to be able to distinguish as you all become clairvoyant, as you all get deeper and deeper connected to your source, right? The differences between our negative ego and our spirit guides, which is source. Understanding that, I'm telling you, I get this message all the time. 2023, most people that are working on themselves, their negative ego will switch to positive because the energy will have shifted getting ready for fifth dimension, getting ready for more enlightenment, getting ready for more ascension, getting ready for more energy from the gamma rays, from the universe that are pulsating us every day. Everybody's exhausted, number one. Number two, they don't eat right. Number three, it's hot, okay? So understanding that the human body is going through transformation. Understand that we have to be conscious of that. For me, I'm getting less and less sleep every night. And that's just because of vibration. I mean, I wake up in the middle of the night and my body will be like boom, 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 boom. Like, okay, come on, I have to sleep. Boom, 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 boom. And I try to go back to sleep and it doesn't work. I try to think about things that I thought about in the past, it doesn't work, okay? So we have to find that new way of doing, right? Understanding that I know. As we go through this transformation, we lose people. As we go through this transformation, we lose family. We don't, we don't mesh up anymore. It doesn't work, all right? It just doesn't, the energy doesn't flow. That can be family, friends, all kinds of people. We have to be the one who takes care of ourselves. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. Asking for what you want. Asking for what you want. And receiving it. And receiving it. Katerina saves about four hours, she says, most days. God, she's a heavy light worker right there. Yeah, okay? Asking for what you want, and when you receive it, you take it. What did we talk about, what did we talk about before? Selfishly inspired. Selfish. You have to make sure that you are taking care of you. Because if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of your tribe. Your children, your husband, your wife, your friends, whoever. But understand that there's only so much you can give without receiving. Okay? Amanda, transition will be, will be natural. You can't do anything about trying to find, trying to learning a new way. You have to just allow it to happen. And it can be painful. Emotionally painful, not body-wise, but emotionally it'll be painful. Um, the way that you think, it's different, yeah. Because it all ties into getting what you want. Getting what you want. Eating differently. Again, I'm the poster child for that stuff, right? Since March, I'm the poster child eating more different things every day, but very, very cautious on what I eat because of my diet, because of my diagnosis. So understand that we're all going through digestional changes. We're all going through life changes, body changes, body shape changes, what tastes good to us, what doesn't taste good to us. How much water do you drink in a day? As you go through this transformation, your body gets lighter, guess what? You gotta drink more water because you're in a higher dimensional energy. When you're up here and your energy's here and you're like, I, can't, I don't understand why am I tired? Why am I thirsty? 
why am I this, why am I that? Well, because you're living in higher dimensional energy, which as a human is easier because your body's a lighter weight, but it also needs better nourishment because it runs more efficiently. You need more water because it runs more efficiently, right? And that's what we all want. Down here in third dimension, it didn't really matter most of the time. We just fed ourselves with stuff. And then we click something, would click in, and we'd be like, okay, I gotta eat more vegetables. I gotta eat more salad. I've gotta eat more this. I've gotta eat more of that. Hey, Jody, gotta eat mess. I, I, I have to eat less red meat. I have to eat, I have to eat no pork. I've gotta eat less mammals. I've gotta eat, right? I've gotta eat more fish, whatever it might be. Because everybody's different, guys. Everybody's on a different plane at the same time. That's what's fascinating. It's fascinating to me. Everybody's at a different level, right? At a different level of ascension, number one. At a, at a different level of transformation. Everyone is. And that's apparent to me with what I do for a living, right? So I'm talking to people this, talking to people that, and it's like, um, um, <laughs> it either flows or it don't. And people are brought to me or they're not. See? And as we go through the transformation, you will hit that plateau. I'm telling you, you will all hit that plateau and most of you will understand the, pla will understand the plateau. I worry about the old souls, the Capricorns, the Virgos, and the Taurians who think they know and who push it down because they think they're good because they think they're good. Yeah, they think they're good. See? And that's super important that we understand that, that we pay, that, that we're conscious of that, that we, that we, uh, that we understand that the reason I'm sluggish is because I don't get enough food, the right food, nutritious food. Again, protein, carbohydrates, water, some sweets, you can still have fun. Still eat what you want to eat, some things you want to eat. But it's about changing that diet because as you go through that transformation, as they transform you, you don't have a choice, guys. We know this, right? None of us know this. We don't have a choice. We know for a fact that we don't have a choice. Or you wouldn't be watching Coding for the Soul. So as you go through and you, and, and you wake up one day and you feel like something's shifted, something's changed, all of a sudden you're connected deeper, or all of a sudden you're craving something you've never craved before, or all of a sudden you're not craving something you've always craved before. That's what happens. I know. Our job spirit says is for us to be conscious to take care of us, okay? To take care of us, because all they can do is trigger us into a, into a craving, into wanting something, into and us going, but I don't like that. But you need to try it. Try it again. Understand there's all kinds of foods that I eat now that I never liked in the never liked until now. And they're pretty good. I can say I need a whole bowl. Yeah. See? Because it's all about our guides, the universe, getting us to our higher tribe. Getting us to a higher tribe that actually understands us, that we learn together that we absolutely have this energy amongst us that is beneficial, Spirit says, that is absolutely at the top of its fourth or fifth dimensional gain and how we, under, how we understand how it works. Do we all understand it now? No, I don't. I don't think I'm pretty good, but I don't understand anything about anything, right? Because I've learned that if I try to control it's not gonna work out the way that I want it to. I've learned just to allow, and we all have to learn how to do that. Ask and allow. I know I get it. Ask and allow, Spirit says. Left side of my head is lit up with energy. It's about understanding and, and, and allowing. And when I say understanding, it's consciousness. Hey, Carmelina. It's, it's consciousness. It's being conscious of the way I did things before I can no longer do. The way that I treated myself, I can't do that anymore. The way that I allowed others to treat me, 
No, not doing that anymore. Why? Because you're a star seed. You're a lay worker. You're connected. You may not believe that you are in a higher sense, but when you are, I can't wait to hear everybody's stories about, oh my God, but you're not gonna believe what happened. Exactly. Because it's all gonna happen to all of us. Okay? The energy on the planet continues to rise into 4D. 4D is just the bridge to five. Got two and a half more years of 4D, and I'm gonna tell you from what I've gotten from Spirit in the last couple of weeks is the fact that 5D is already infiltrating. It's kind of like melting into 4D for those people who are hungry for that, connected to that. Spirit is showing me, because I make bread pudding all the time, right? And we're now we're putting toppings on our bread pudding. And we had two weeks of, um, we had one week of blueberries, one week of blueberry, and then we had two weeks of apples, um, applesauce, stuff that I make. And then last week we had pineapple. And it all seeps down inside the bread pudding. And that's what Spirit is showing me about 5D, is the fact that it melts down into the collective for those that need that energy, for those that are connected to that, for those that are hungry for that, for those that understand that. And those that don't, just eat the bread pudding. Right? So when you get to that point, Spirit says, and you taste the pineapple or the apples, I don't know what we're going to do next time. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll come up with something. They always do. They always t tell me what to make. Then it's like, oh my God, I love this stuff. Okay. Because you're there. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times we don't know where we're at in our ascension until we stop and go, I kind of feel pretty good. I kind of like the taste of that. I kind of like the taste of that too. I don't like what's down there anymore. And I don't want to go back there. Even though we have to sometimes go back into 3D because again, we have obligations there still until those obligations are gone. And they will go because most of the people in our lives, meaning children, husbands, wives, spouses, things like that, some friends, they ascend with us. Are they you? No, they're not you. And that's the thing I'm telling you guys, that's the thing that you have to remind yourself constantly with everybody. They're not you. They're not you. You may not believe you are who you are yet, but they know. So they're gonna keep people in your life who challenge you. They're gonna keep people in your life and you finally go, okay, you know what? I don't have anything in common with you anymore. You make me really frustrated. That's when you kind of move backwards. You kind of step backwards and go, okay, yeah, I'm kind of busy next week, but I'll call you. I'm good, you know, because that energy no longer serves you. That person no longer serves you. And when you understand that, when you get it and go, usually it's from them, having a conversation with you when you don't know you're having a conversation with them, it happens. And they say, you know, blah, 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 blah. And the loneliness that it causes and the fear that it causes. I've known her since fourth grade. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Nothing. She's not you. And when I say that, guys, truly, when I say that, it's the embodiment of love. It's the embodiment of everything of, because you're here now. And they're not, they're not. Are they gonna meet you again? Probably not. Because you chose to be here this lifetime being that person. And then you become the leader. All of a sudden you're telling your story to people. Friend of a friend of a friend. It just comes out of your mouth. Because somebody's asking you, oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. But if you're not taking care of you, how are you going to be able to do that confidently? Are you confident enough in your spirituality? Like Spirit always said, you gotta stand in it. Gotta stand in it. Because guess what? The tribe needs you to. The collective needs you to. Because, and it's, and it's so much more comfortable when you get into that, into your higher tribe, right? And it's like old friends. It's like you've known each other forever. And all of a sudden what happens is everything else, everybody else, 
kind of just falls away. You don't even need them to be in your life anymore. Sometimes is a transformation lonely? Oh, for sure. Again, and that's casting away past lifetimes. It's casting away energy that no longer serves you. Okay? And I know. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to say it. You know when they catch a crab and they crack and, and they take one of the claws off and they throw it back in the ocean? It's kind of pissed off that it doesn't have that claw anymore, but the claw grows back. That's what Spirit is showing me about transformation. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay? Is it easy? No. But we signed up for it when we signed that soul journey before we came back to Earth. Our soul knows what's going on. It's a human that's like WTF. I don't get it. But now more and more, people are getting it. People are getting it. People are getting it. I was online last week and um, just on Facebook. And um, there's one of my friends who lives in Florida. I've never met him, but he's this amazing guy. Um, and, um, and he put a book called quantum physics and the mind and as soon as I saw him post that spirit said get that I'm gonna start it tomorrow um, eight or four years ago I was told I was gonna I, I that I needed to get into quantum physics and I'm like oh, no way I mean come on I'm not that guy well guess what spiritually now I am that guy so I'm looking forward to reading this book because it's quantum physics for the mind and how it all interconnects and how it works together. And it makes sense to me now. Four years ago, not so much. Two years ago, no way. A year ago, maybe sort of, but I wouldn't have seen it on Facebook and Dimitri wouldn't have posted it on Facebook for me to see. Ordered it that day, came from Amazon the next day. Okay, been sitting on the coffee table for almost a week, staring me in the face. But this week has been so busy, right? Everything is shifting, everything is changing. Everything is moving at a quantum speed. The days are flying by. It's already the 21st of July. Okay? So understand being conscious. Understand how are you feeling. Right? How are you feeling? Good or bad? What can you do to change it? What are you talking to yourself about? If you're talking to yourself out loud, you know what you're talking to yourself about. If you're allowing your negative ego to do the narrative, you're screwed. It may sound wonderful. It may sound that you're going to go to Tahiti, right? It may sound that you are going to be a billionaire. You're, it's going to sound like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have the world by the tail. Until you don't and you go, okay, WTF, what happened? Oh my gosh, I'm hearing spirit. No, you have to be able, once you receive the messages, to differentiate between the two. That's why pushing back on ego is so very, very important. Okay? Until it flips. Because trust me, I was going through a process last week, having conversations with spirit, and I am just absolutely channeling and talking and channeling and talking and channeling and talking. And he says, Bill, it'll happen like that. I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen like that? The transformation. Okay, what, is that, what does that look like? He says, again, quantum physics and, and, and the mind and Bill, how that works and, um, and, and how um, people find their tribe and they find their ascending tribe and then they find their higher tribe, which is where their higher self is at. I'm like, well, that's interesting. It was very interesting. Okay. And how do we get there? And his response is, don't worry about that. He says it to me all the time. Don't worry about that. We'll take you there. That's the way everybody needs to think. Okay, because we're not, we're going to get there on their time. There's no time in spirit. Here we're under time constraints. We're trying to make up time with a quantum leap, right? Energy is moving at a freaking feverish pace. The days are flying by like crazy. Time's flying by like crazy. I can believe it's another Thursday for coaching for the soul. It was just Thursday a minute ago, I thought. So every day that we transform, every day that we that we take that energy in and we expel it 
every day that we do that to other people, every day that we enlighten people, not only am I saying anything, it's just making sure that the narrative that, that the narrative that we have in our head is positive. That narrative in our head is one of love and concern. Hey, Lisa J. And making sure when we get up out of that bed in the morning that we're in the right space at the right time. Mentally, emotionally. Again, some I love you's in the morning never hurt. Never hurt. Let's make today a good day. I love you so much. It's wonderful. It's gonna be a great day. And then being conscious to make sure that as we go through that day and we're out there in that quantum energy, right? We're out there in that quantum leap energy, which is propelling us forward. Like, we, like I talked three, four weeks ago about us being Superman and being pummeled by all those gamma rays and all that energy and our body sucking up as much as it possibly can for transformation. We don't even know what it's gonna do for us, but I know it's positive. I know that it's going to help us to heal things. It's gonna help us to know things. It's gonna help us to understand more than we've ever known before. And you all, including me and others that watch this, either now, right, or on YouTube, are the leaders, are the teachers. We are the teachers of the, of the future. Not even in a teacher sense, it's in a conversation sense. As people look at you and go, so you're connected, yeah? Because they can see your light. You can't shut it off. There's no way to shut it off. Once you have it, you have it. In fact, somebody on Facebook about three weeks ago told me I was absolutely weird and I thanked them for it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'd shut her up like that. You know, she was trying to make a whatever. And I'm like, okay, great. She obviously didn't see my light. <laughs> but that's what this is all about, and we know it. We know it. But it's about taking care of ourselves, filling up that picture, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, inside of us, being selfish, making sure that we know what we know, right? Giving ourselves a, a, a I call it a conversation list, so we can make sure that there's things that, that there's things that we tell ourselves every day, that we allow ourselves to be, that we allow ourselves to be conscious at work, that we allow ourselves to be unconscious at work, and that we have time to do nothing. Time to do nothing. And I had a reading with Aphrodite this week, my, my astrologer, I had three questions about the Saturn, the Jupiter, and the Chiron thing. Had a, had a reading with her on Tuesday. And she said, so Bill, what do you do, for, you know, so what do you do to take care of yourself? I said, no, I said, I take care of myself by being quiet. In my house, the dog's asleep, Lee's at work, I'm just being. I'm on YouTube watching something, or I'm having a conversation with Spirit, or I'm just being. She's like, really? I'm like, yes. She goes, that's interesting, because that's never been you. No, it's never been me. Mm -mm. But I've learned the way to allow the way to accept, the way to chill and be, and be in balance is to not have the TV on, not have music on, be here with Bailey when he's asleep like now, which is wonderful, and um, just be. And a lot of people can't do that, and I understand that. I get it. But you have to find a way, even if it's going and sitting out in the car or taking yourself to the grocery and sitting in the parking lot and having five, 10, 15 minutes of just good time, to make all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world. It can. Because when you start to do that, you crave it. When you start to make yourself a priority, you crave it. You want more and more of it. Okay? You want more and more of it. So it works. Because as you start to take care of yourself, as you start to nurture yourself, as you start to really make yourself a priority, It changes, it flips. It flips, it flips, it flips. Yeah, see? When you start to take your spirituality seriously, right? When you take your ascension spiritually because you don't know any other way, because it's dragging you forward, right? So I renamed the element packages, the element coaching sessions. 
right? The element coaching sessions, because that's kind of what they pretty much are, especially now. I'm coaching so many people who bought element packages, right? There's the four packages at different, different times with me every month, um, the different questions with me every month, things like that. But, I, but Spirit says you need to change the name of that because it's evolved into memberships that you can move up in. I had two people two weeks ago who went from water to earth because they need more time with me. They needed more bill time. They needed more conversations, right? Because they weren't getting enough and they were paying to book readings. Like, I don't understand. Why don't you just upgrade, do that, it's fine. You can, I can do that, of course you can. Again, guys, it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty easy when it comes to things like that. But as your spirituality grows, you're gonna need more time. You're gonna have more questions, you're gonna have more, more understanding, you're gonna have more questions, more understanding. And that's why I changed the name to Element Coaching Sessions. I even bought the website. Check that out. That was from them. Bill, you need to buy that website. Really? Why? <laughs> yes. Ele ElementSessions.com is now owned by Bill Hobart. Yes. As my conglomerate grows, I guess, right? But again, as we go through this process, as you go through your enlightening, your enlightenment, you're going to need more time with someone. Okay? And that's just the way that it is. That's just the way it is. If it's me, I'm blessed. It's wonderful. Hey, Ryan. Right? But go on the website, buildhobart.com. They're right there on the homepage. The element, four element packages or four element memberships or something like that. And they're right there. Read about them. Look at the pictures. Pictures are going to change too. We're going to get new pictures. See? But when that starts to roll out, when it starts to be a force, which is already starting to be, again, that's another tool for you to use to connect to me when you want to. Truly, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Because as I move forward, hey Cindy, as we move to Maui, which I believe will be this year, some point in time, we buy the house and move, all right? Um, yeah, it's, it's five hours standard time, six hours daylight time, difference. I'm behind you. So the best thing for that, instead of trying to book a reading during the day, my time, will be Eastern time, is Element. Element coaching sessions. It's a set price for each one of the levels. Buy 12 months, get the 13th month free. It's not bad, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind when you're like, okay, I need some more guidance. I need more time. I need more in time with Bill. Hey, Susan. Okay. Because everybody's going to need it. That's the thing. Now, does that mean that others that watch Coaching with the Soul are going to do the same thing? No, it doesn't mean that at all. Because some of you are more teachers than others. Some of you are, are more comfortable doing that. Okay. Someone is, I mean, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of, of different levels of who we're supposed to be. And that's what it's all about. Understanding who we are eventually. When I was talking to Aphrodite the other day, I'm like, okay, I never even knew what this guy was right here. I had no idea a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, oh, hell to the no. I had no idea what that even looked like. But through transformation, through allowing myself to flow, giving up and going, okay, you know what? I can't fight the universe. I'm not that strong. I've tried and they don't work. It doesn't work. Just give up, okay? And I know that next Thursday, I think, Tammy's doing an energy, an energy um, um, calibration like she did earlier that was impactful as hell, like two months ago, three months ago. I, I believe it's on Thursday. Um, let me know if, you, if you're interested in that. Um, I'm not sure what the cost is. If you're not part of the higher consciousness circle or the higher consciousness light, um, I believe, well, hang on. I think it's $99 for, the, for, for, for that day. 
but you can join the freaking join the consciousness circle for you know the consciousness circle light for three months 99 dollars a month or whatever if you can do that again guys no promotion no pressure no anything i'm just saying that if you can that's a good way to get energy work done when you want energy work done because there's a lot of things packed into both of those programs, okay? But, um, oh, so Patrick said, Wednesday the 27th of July, okay? So um, if you need that information, let me know. Um, send me a Facebook message, right? Or text me, 248-310-7689, and I will get you in touch with her because I'll be there. I, I usually watch it later because I can't do things at night because this is already done. I believe it's at night that day. Um, I can't do that. Yeah, I think the last one, I think Bailey was on the TV screen or on my laptop screen the whole time and I was listening, but I wasn't interacting, okay? But I know for a lot of people, it was extremely impactful. I mean, people that, see, that I talk to are like, Bill, I mean, it blew my freaking mind. So that's just something there, another thing, right? to add to your repertoire, Spirit says, to give you a boost in energy, because if you're not doing the energy blast for free every other Monday at 111, why? Get yourself on a schedule of some sort, a spiritual schedule, let's say, because it's for you, it's for you. And very often we don't do that, right? Food, water, all kinds of different things. We don't take care of ourselves. Okay, we give everything away to other people. And then we say, well, Bill, yeah, it's just, I'm just, if you're tired, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. With quantum energy and everything else, everybody's exhausted. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't at least check it out, because it's free. So if you want to join the Spiritual Playground group, you can do it on Facebook. Or you can let me know and I'll send you an invite, okay? Because that's another tool in your toolbox of spirituality. It's another tool to give you the ability to clear that stuff out of your head, clear the stuff out of your body. Because Tammy does that stuff, and I don't know how she does it, but that girl does it, right? I am the poster child for that. I'm up here now, and I wasn't up here when I met her. So she got some kind of stuff going on that allowed me to clear my stuff away. And you know me, I am the town crier. I'm gonna tell everybody that I know when somebody's good. When somebody's, when somebody's good. And it's free. Free is great. Especially when it comes to this stuff, right? So as we go through this, as we look to our future, be conscious. Nothing is as bad as it seems, Spirit says. Everything that we are being, that, 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 that is coming to us, right? Everything that we think we know, Spirit says, ego, is a lie. And as we go through this transformation, as we go through our, our job shifts, as our jobs change, as society changes, as things become more balanced with people, become more calm with people, as our government settles in and things become the norm, okay? For the better, there's a few blips, but don't let that discourage you on where the United States and the world is going, all right? I, please don't, because if you allow ego to spin out of control, with other people, again, I there was a, a, a new guy showed up on, on, on my YouTube feed the other day, this past weekend, and I'm telling you what, he's a great astrologer. This guy was on point. Everything that he was talking about was something that I had talking about on Coaching for the Soul. I'm like, who is this guy, Spirit? Oh my God, this is amazing. This guy knows. This guy's actually connected and he actually knows. This is fantastic. Thank you for this person. And then the conspiracy theories came out of his mouth. And I'm like, what, Pamela? And I have this question. How can people be so dearly, deeply connected to the divine and not know the truth? I did it. I don't know. But the spirit says to me, well, Bill, you're the truth teller. They're not. Okay. 
but I'd love to promote this guy and say, you know what, this guy's really good, has really good advice, not advice, but knowledge. He's connected deeply. But I can't do that because he believes something that's not true, unfortunately, about our country. And I'm not gonna do that because that's not who I am. I know. Spirit says, because I'm so freaking loyal and so freaking stand up guy, that's like, no, that's, no, that's, and, the, and I'm the, and I am the truth teller. In fact, I got confirmation of that last night, again, in conversations with Spirit. Okay? So, I know. He wants me to tell you that you never disappoint. You never disappoint. So stop telling yourself that you're, that, that you're disappointed. Disappointed in yourself, disappointed in other people. Stop doing that. That's ego. That's your ego trying to bring your vibration down so that it makes you sick. So it brings your vibration down so that it's harder for you to get your vibration up. It's all mental game bullshit. Don't let that happen. Always remember, it's tied to your heart, baby. It's tied to your heart. It's there to keep you back. So again, we have to remove it, right? We gotta call ego out. Ego, that's not true, that's a lie. We gotta talk to ourselves in third person, right? Spirit just said, you need to give yourself four things that are important to you. Four things and list them. And why are they important? Why are they important? That I love yous have to be at the top of that. I'm sorry. But if you're not telling yourself you love yourself at least five to 10 times a day, you need to get on that bandwagon because that will lift your vibration up to a very good level. And you'll be like, damn, I don't even feel like that anymore. Of course not. Because you love yourself. That's what it's about. It doesn't matter about anything else. Don't do it with food. Don't do it with alcohol. Don't do it with weed. No. That I love yous are free. And it changes your vibration. And I'm gonna preach that when I'm on stage to a thousand people, I swear to God. The first I'm gonna start out with is how many I love you said you said today. How many? Because people don't think about it. And they go through their day sluggish and they go through their day yucky. Well, why? You choose to be unhappy. You choose to be unhappy. You gotta do this much self-talk out loud. And part of that needs to be I love you, Bill. I love you, Pamela. I love you, Carmelina. I love you, Cindy. I love you, Laura. It needs to be that. Hell yeah. Because if you're not doing that, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you doing that? It's free love. It makes sense to me. Now, if you ask the guy two years ago, if he's listened to a guy like that, like, you don't know, what the heck? Get out of here. But I'm telling you what, it's true. That's the Capricorn in me, the, the naysayer. Yeah, okay, I'm good. But it's true. But it's true. When you wake up in the morning, you're in that space. Change it. Change it. Throughout the day, change it. Allow yourself to screw it up. But allow yourself to be conscious and go, okay, I get it. I freaking get it. Because I'm the most important person in my life. Then Lee, then Bailey, then Lee. Love them both. But this guy's first. You have to be first. Okay? And you have to tell yourself that. You have to remind yourself that. You gotta get out of your cocoon, Spirit says. Get out of your safe space. Get out of your thing, your bunker, he says. And throw that, he calls it a bullshit bunker. That's kind of interesting. Throw that bullshit bunker away because it's, it's not true, it's a lie. The energy in the bunker does nothing but hold you back. It does nothing but keep you out of the butterfly who you're supposed to become. He says incubation takes too long. Why are you allowing yourself to incubate for so long when all you have to do is allow? Truth, truth, truth. Why? Fear. We're afraid, we're tired to ego. And I can't wait to the day when our ego flips and we go, holy, you know what? This is my biggest fan. When did that happen? Overnight while you were sleeping, we upgraded you to first class. Check that out. 
without even knowing it. And then how does that change your energy? How does that change your disposition? How does it change everything about you? Which you could have done before that happened. And when that happens, you probably have done that. You probably have given yourself your I love yous. You probably have done your guided meditations that get rid of your 3 d ness right? Your Steve Noble stuff. You have been doing an energy blast or two a month for free. You do watch Coaching for the Soul. See? That's what it's about. You do get on YouTube and check out and see what they brought you that day. You do go on, on Facebook and see what they brought you that day. Stuff out of the blue will show up without you even asking. Just because they know that you have a routine at 7.30 at night of going on YouTube or going on Facebook or at lunch, checking your email, whatever it might be. Because they pay attention. And their job is to make sure that you ascend as quickly as you possibly can because they need us. They need us to hold the collective up, right? They need us with our vibration to push ourselves above 4D. Even though we don't know what it is. We don't know what fifth 5D is. Hey, Joey. Or 6D. Or 7D. We have no idea what it looks like. But it feels right. To me, it feels right when I talk about it. It feels right, I know, to people that watch Coaching for the Soul Live or they watch it on YouTube. Yeah. See? Because they get it. They don't know why they get it, but they get it. And then when they start to understand and they start to go, oh my gosh, I so understand that now. I, it makes so much difference. Oh my gosh, I got it before and I didn't really know that I got it. All the pieces start to come together. Spirit just said, it's kind of on a Rubik's Cube. Makes sense to me. We have to be the one who allows we have to be the one who flows. We have to be the one who is just be. Just allow yourself to be. Give yourself time just to stop and not think. Hey, Rhonda, give yourself time just to sit. Even if it's outside with your feet on the ground, by the water, walking through some woods. Let that energy, let that, let the trees, let everything around you just absolutely pull it out and I know. Pull out that carbon dioxide that does not serve you and fill you with wonderful oxygen by just being. Casually walking down a path, smelling the smells and feeling the feels and allowing them to absolutely take all that stress away, all that yucky away, all those feelings away. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Spirit says to regenerate yourself, to rejuvenate yourself. And if you're not doing that, at least once in a while, why? Hi, Emily. Because it's our responsibility to make sure that we do that for us. Take the kids, take the husband, take the wife, whatever. Doesn't matter. Or do it on your own. Take a tribe. Take a tribe. But do it. Because that's the key. The initiative spirit says is everything. The initiative is everything. Because with initiative, in this case, of self-care, of taking care of yourself, drinking enough water, watching what you eat, as hard as that is, right? In summer it's easier. Wintertime is kind of hard. Spirit says every step that you take forward you will not take backwards. Every step you take forward, you will not take backwards. Say, now that's a shift. It used to be two, three, four, five, and then maybe one back. No. He says, there's no time. Everybody who's watching Coaching for the Soul, doing their spiritual work, connecting like they can, talking out loud, doing all the things they need to do, is not like the people bill from three years ago, or four years ago when Coaching for the Soul started. Not. They've all evolved into people. 
And the people that did, did I know, the people that did not evolve no longer watch Cooking for the Soul. And they, and they, and they think that's because they don't like you, meaning me. <coughs> hey, Karen, it's them. They've reached the top of their spirituality. Maybe they're supposed to stay in 3D. Because I look back at some of the videos I did two years ago, I'm like, holy camoly, they're awfully simple. A clear channel, just talking about what we're talking about. Now it's elevated to the point of, again, quantum energy and quantum leap and astrology and deeper messages from my, you know, again, from my authority, right? My higher self. All this stuff has come together for us, for us. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, okay? So um, that hour went fast. Um, I'm doing readings on Saturday from 11 to three. I think it's 11 to two, 11 to three, I'm not sure. If you want a reading this weekend, hook it up, billhobart.com. Element packages are on billhobart.com. Element coaching sessions, I should say, are on billhobart.com. Um, check those out if you want to. I'm going to post them on Facebook tonight because P Spirit keeps telling me to and I keep blowing it off because I'm doing something else. Um, yeah. If you need help, 248-310-7689. All right. Uh, text me. Facebook message me if, it, me if you need something. If you have a question, again, you guys know I will answer your questions. Um, I want you to understand that it may not be it may not be immediate. It might be the next day. Okay. Um, uh, and and um, I'm and I'm happy to do I'm happy to do that. You need ten minutes again. Bill, can I get ten minutes? You guys, know what? I'm not gonna. It's free. It's no big deal. I can talk to you for ten minutes on the phone for something that beautifully happened. My gosh, you're not gonna believe this experience that I had. Or Bill, today I'm kind of sucking. Kind of sucking. I don't know why. Okay. And I will do everything you, I possibly can. You guys know this to change that energy. To change that energy in a few little words of conversation. Okay, so um, namaste everybody. Um, I'm getting ready to post this on YouTube. If you do go to YouTube later today or tomorrow, all of you that are watching live, please go to YouTube, like the video please, subscribe to my channel, and please comment something. Again, over 100 people watched Coaching for the Soul last week. I think that's one of the biggest I've ever had, and it's because of you guys. So if you comment, it goes to people around the world, right? Who need coaching for the soul with the algorithms? Do I know what that is? Not a freaking clue. But if you guys can help me out with that, if you remember tonight or you remember tomorrow, comment. Just put a little comment down there. It's all good, okay? But please. Um, oh, and thanks everybody for the donations from last week. Um, it was fantastic. I appreciate it so much. It's a surprise because I don't expect anything. So um, yeah, so I love everybody who does that. I love everybody anyway. So um, I'll see everybody next two, next Thursday, Tuesday, next Thursday for Coaching for the Soul at three.